As we're barreling towards the launch of another electric pickup truck, this time the Tesla Cybertruck, it's really refreshing to see the number of traditional truck fans come up and express some significant interest in going electric. I mean, EVs have plenty of power and to talk. And whenever I meet someone who's curious about my personal electric pickup truck, a Ford F-150 Lightning Lariat, they're always pretty impressed when I tell them that I've towed a car halfway across the US with minimal fuss and cost, I've towed a tiny house on a farm, and I can keep essential loads running when there's a power cut. While the Cybertruck is quite the divisive vehicle, you either love it or you hate it, upcoming electric pickup trucks from Chevrolet and Stellantis really drive home the message that EV pickup trucks are here to stay. Even established YouTubers who were once dismissive of electric vehicles are... Sorry. Excuse me. Oh. oh. Not again. I guess this video is going to be... Slightly different to the one I'd planned. So, in case you didn't know, and by the oodles of emails and messages I've received, I can't think of anyone who doesn't know, Tyler Hoovey of Hoovey's Garage has been busy making content about pickup trucks again. This time, he decided to compare a high-end $110,000 Ford Raptor R to a Ford F-150 Lightning. The video thumbnail speaks for itself, and the title of the video makes quite the claim, namely that a 700 horsepower V8 powered Ford Raptor R is, quote, way more economical than the Lightning electric pickup truck, end quote. Given how many of you wanted me to see it and how many views it got on its first day, more views, in fact, than we've got in the last few months, I figured it's going to be a topic that comes up and up again as your gas-guzzling friends, family, co-workers and mortal enemies tell you why EVs suck. So let's do some deep diving. First, let's acknowledge two important things. Hoovy is a YouTuber who has really figured out his niche. Something I think we're pretty rubbish at. He's also making a killing on every video he produces. People watch him for entertainment first and information second, and not everyone who watches Hoovy's Garage is going to go out and believe everything they've just watched. At the same time, though, enough people do pay attention to what he says when he makes a video that's not very accurate. And that misinformation can take on a life of its own, as he himself discovered last year when a video about him towing with a Ford F-150 Lightning became a news story on multiple right-leaning news sites and podcasts. Since I've already debunked that particular video, links in the description, I'm going to ignore it here and focus instead on something else, namely the conceit that a Ford F-150 Raptor R with a V8 engine that gets maybe 10 miles to the gallon is more economical than a Ford F-150 Lightning EV. Having watched the entire video though, I can't really pinpoint exactly where sensible arguments are laid out in support of that claim. Hoovy introduces the truck, bemoans his time with the F-150 Lightning, and then talks about how the F-150 Lightning isn't selling, which he claims was the reason for Ford's recent price reduction, as well as reminding everyone how terrible it was at towing. Again, I've debunked that video many, many times, and my own experience is completely different to Hoovy, and I've towed with my F-150 Lightning Lariat extended range many, many times now. Talking about the interior of the F-150 Raptor R, Hoovy praises the truck for having a more upmarket interior than the F-150 Lightning and expresses his personal preference for a smaller center touchscreen versus the large portrait touchscreen found in the upper trim variants of the F-150 Lightning. But that's a matter of personal taste and I can't really see very much difference between the Raptor R's interior and the high-end F-150 Lightning Platinum. So let's talk about the thing that it seems to come down to. Time spent charging. Hoovy threw in a comment about charging for an hour to get 40 miles of range, and I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that that was based on a real world charging experience. Although I hope to God it wasn't a fast charging scenario. That's because my own experience says that as long as the truck isn't almost full, 
my truck will charge pretty briskly until it's 80% at a CCS quick charge station. And even then it still charges more quickly than a Chevrolet Bolt EV at full power. In about one hour of charging when I'm on the road and finding a fully functional rapid charger, I can put in excess of 250 miles of range back into the truck's battery pack in less than an hour. At home, well, if you do have the extended range version and an 80 amp power supply for Ford's Charge Station Pro, you're looking at somewhere around 40 miles of range per hour of slow, well, not super slow, charging. But that is a level two charging station, not a fast charging station. And given that Hoovy's F-150 Lightning was the standard range, uh, I can't explain his claimed figure. Hoovy does make a big deal though about the refuel time of the Raptor R, and I think that's his basis for the economical quote. But at 12 miles per gallon combined, 10 in town and 15 on the highway before you tow anything with it, this truck is going to drink gasoline like it's going out of style. <laughs> that's actually true. Gasoline is going out of style, despite what you might have heard from Texas. Bad jokes aside though, Let's look at the economy argument. The Raptor R has a 36 US gallon fuel tank, about 136 litres or 29 and a bit imperial gallons. At $3.80, which is where the price of gasoline is on average at the time of filming this, it works out to about $136.80 before taxes to completely fill the fuel tank. And by the way, that's for an approximate range of no more than about 500-ish miles or 804 kilometers if you drive this V8 truck like an absolute saint and you don't tow. Because let me tell you, if you do tow, you're gonna get about one half of that. See, it doesn't really matter whether you're in an EV or an ICE truck, the impact on the range is the same. The only thing that's different is the fill up time. Physics doesn't change when you're towing. Now, filling up an F-150 Lightning extended range from nearly empty to 80% full, which ultimately would give you less range from a DC fast charging station, I'm going to guess is going to be somewhere in the region of between $45 and $60, depending on the fast charging network you choose and taxes, yada, yada, yada. At this point, it's worth acknowledging that if you only ever charge at a fast charging station and you completely ignore the higher servicing costs of the Raptor R over the F-150 Lightning, the fueling costs of both trucks aren't that different. 25 cents if you drive the Raptor R like you're a teenage learner and between 10 and 25 cents if you're using the most expensive DC fast charging available today and you are also not signed up for the plans that most charging station operators offer that significantly reduces the cost of charging and saves you a heap of cash. If either of these two very narrow circumstances aren't true, the cost of differences are more obvious and are in favour of the F-150 Lightning. Add in the fact that the F-150 Lightning, even in platinum trim, is a good $10,000 cheaper than the Raptor R and you're starting to see more and more cost difference between the two. Add in the fact that you have an oil change every 7,500 miles for the Raptor R, although some places say it's every five, and there are other things that also need regular attention pretty frequently too, which adds up to quite the maintenance bill. The F-150 Lightning, meanwhile, it has a 20,000 mile service interval, even if my Ford garage tries to tell me it's the same as a regular truck. And even then it's usually just a cabin filter, a visual inspection and a tire rotation. And look, I know, I get it. I'm taking this one statement made by another YouTuber and some might argue, working really hard to dispel it. But when I'm faced with obvious bovine byproduct, and I know what that is, I grew up on a dairy farm, I feel it's important to call it out. Which leads me to the final possible way that the Raptor R could be more economical than an F-150 Lightning. The cost to the individual. If you're someone who's self-employed, I can see the argument that the Raptor R would be a better choice as refueling on the road could take five minutes or less. But the overwhelming majority of people who run their own businesses, me included, as long as they're not in a super rural location are unlikely to spend hours upon hours behind the wheel. And even if they do, the chances are they wouldn't be driving a Raptor R to do that. Every time you stop to recharge an EV on a long distance trip, you obviously spend more time off the road than you were if you were driving a gasoline vehicle. But 
Assuming you're a fairly average driver who isn't going to break the speed limit by a massive margin, traveling 600 miles in a day is about the comfortable distance that most people would want to drive. Not only is it comfortable in terms of time on the road, but comfortable in terms of safety for other road users. Go beyond that and you're starting to err into territory where you're not actually going to be a safe driver. Driving 600 miles in a Ford F-150 Lightning extended range might result in maybe two to three stops to recharge, assuming you start the day with a full battery, and that translates to a maximum charging stop of between 90 minutes and about two hours. Even if you're doing that in a work day though, I'm going to suggest that you're going to need to do other things during those two hour periods that are essential for meat sacks like us. Things like stopping to pee or grabbing food or doing things that are essential to your business like answering emails or taking phone calls that it might not be safe to do while you're driving. Sure, if you view the time charging as completely dead time where you don't do anything, and your hourly rate is upwards of $250 per hour to your customers, maybe the Raptor R would be a more economical choice. But that's only more economical for you, not everyone else, and ignores a whole lot of suggested maintenance. But look, that's a different topic. I'm not going to go there today. And on that note, we are done with today's video. If you have comments, drop us a polite note below in the Discord chat room on Mastodon, or if you are a Patreon supporter, you can leave your thoughts there. If you want more, subscribe, hit the bell, and follow the links below to regularly support us with a YouTube channel membership or Patreon subscription. You will also find links to our Kofi, Bitcoin, and Swag store, as well as that aforementioned Mastodon server. Like other videos I've made recently, there's no Mac Easter egg on this video because I do need to take a little bit longer talking about this next bit. Scrolling on my right is the list of amazing Charged Up supporters. And if you are not on the list, thank you to Neil and a few other of you for reaching out and telling us you weren't on the list when you should be. I'm sorry on behalf of the entire team. There have been some issues with the automated process we've been using. We are a small team and we're actually rejigging our end credits a little bit. So watch this space. Oh, and if you have recently joined and your name isn't on the list, we are sorry. The list hasn't been generated for a while while we sort out those bugs and while we've been out of the studio. In the meantime, though, thank you to all of the people listed and to everyone who has joined up recently to Patreon. Our YouTube ad revenue is $3,000 less over the last month than it used to be. So you are really helping us stay afloat and avoiding this channel going bye bye for good. So thank you if you have been donating. And if you're someone who has $1 a month to spare, please do consider supporting us as we are still about two and a half thousand dollars short for every month that this YouTube ad apocalypse unsubscribe our audience continues. Shoutouts go out to our VTG Patreon supporters, Alan Tupper, Andrew Martin, Bennett Elder, Brophy Wolf, Chris Maxwell, Cyprian Laplace, Dan Blair, Gordon C., Hey Esker, John Tramal, Carl Fox, Mark Eggleton, Peter Dillinger, Regine Fellows, Sean Tucker, Stefan Fremden, Stephen Williams, Tesla in the Gong, Paul Bricknell, Tony Moss, Carl Hodgson, Chris Centaur, Denny Hyde, Lance Schlarl, Linda Irish, Mike Weeder, and Paul Nelson. And finally, big thanks to our off-grid supporters, Paul Conway, Kevin Burrowbridge, Stephen O'Donoghue, Jim Burness, Robert Flannery, Aaron Hahn, Ellery Hensley, Rory Litwin, J.P. Fagerback, Dave Kitchen, Andrew Glenn, Anonymous Freak, Chris and Michael Johnson, Clay Witt, CPU Freak 101, Eric Knack, Joe Bresney, John Henderson, Laura Reynolds, Marcel Ward, Matthew Drobnak, Nigel S., Reggie Watts, Will Graylin, and of course, Ian. Don't forget that we make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday on this main channel. Plus on a Sunday, you'll see us over on Transport Evolve Take too. And with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon. And as always, keep evolving. Keep evolving.